this next game, I won't lie. I'm a little disappointed <laughs> here with this under. I have a bone to pick with this game. This is the last time, guys, I take an Orlando under. I simply cannot trust the Guardians to not hand other the other team points. Just on a silver platter. Just served up points to San Antonio. That block punt did us in. You can handicap a game a million different ways. You can look at stats. You can look at data, trends, whatever. You cannot account for plays like that block punt. You take that moment away, we cash. But it's irrelevant. It does not matter because special teams are part of the game. So we lost that bet because I didn't factor in special teams. Just a bad play on my part. Um, But a great play by San Antonio's Travis Johnson to get through on that block punt for as much as it drove a dagger through my chest. Tough way to lose that one. But before you Brahmas fans jump down my neck here for me saying I counted you out, I didn't trust the Jamie Elizondo offense, remember who you played. Disclaimer, a win against Orlando will not affect your standings in our XFL power poll. And I know it doesn't matter because the power poll matters for who gots. But I don't care that you beat Orlando. It's a scrimmage at this point. What is going on with the Orlando Guardians? If you play the Orlando Guardians close this year, I'm going to drop you in the poll. It's that simple. This football team is horrendous. And I have to give it to the 12,000 faithful that showed up at Camping World Stadium to see what offensive linemen were trying to call plays. DeAndre Francois is out there, STFU. I mean, six for 13 for eight yards for DeAndre Francois. He did throw a touchdown pass. Six for 13 for eight yards. Zuck, me, you, and nine viewers could go out there and I'd give myself six for 13 for eight yards. I might take a few sacks and end up in the hospital. How do you complete six passes for eight yards? I just, if you were a fan at this game, major respect. You are the true diehards that we need. I hope that your commitment will never waver, even when the Guardians do go winless. Uh, I said Jack Cohn would have a chance to look better, and he did. Of course he did. Uh, Brandon Silvers also looked good against this defense, and he took a little bit of a step back, I thought, in our next game coming up. So that's something to keep an eye on. Is it just Orlando's defense is that bad? I thought their run defense held up, by the way. I think San Antonio only, what, 2.5 yards per carry. Balaj and Patrick both held to like under 20 yards rushing. So the tight end play is what stood out to me for San Antonio. Uh, Alizé Mack and Dion Yelder, both with a score. Uh, Non-existent running game, like we mentioned. Um, We knew that San Antonio offensive line was kind of in shambles going in, so I think they can get that fixed and have a better rushing attack going forward, but they found a way to win. And to quote Terrell Buckley, when asked if there were any silver linings in this game for Orlando, no. Nothing. I think T-Bucks days are numbered in Orlando. Because remember, guys, fans here, what are they used to? The Orlando Apollos, the champions of the AAF, the short-lived AAF back in 2019. Who coached that team? Oh, yeah, Steve Spurrier, a higher standard for football in Orlando. And I don't want to react, like overreact, I should say, to the San Antonio win. I have to give credit where it's due, though. This is still not a playoff team, guys. And if they can prove me wrong in Houston on Sunday night, I'll be shocked. But I don't think San Antonio is built to make this run at the playoffs. I think people will overreact. And I think people will place them higher in the power rankings. But remember, Houston did the same exact thing to Orlando. So don't overreact. You still have things to clean up. It was a good showing from Cone. Do we see Reed Sinet at any point in the San Antonio offense? You saw him on the sidelines. Him and Cone seem to have a good relationship. Cone leading the league in completion percentage. Have to give him that. I just don't see how you only go for like, under 40 yards on the ground against an Orlando team that just does not have the capability to really stop much of anything. I mean, you, you had almost a hundred rushing yards against St. Louis. Where was the run? They they were just stuffed up front. 
So they have their issues. The block punt helped them out huge. Uh, Jack Cohn, I think, will settle in a little bit. But that Houston game coming up on Sunday, we'll have a full preview for uh, the Thursday show. But that's going to be tough. I think opening line was four and a half. Houston favored by. So San Antonio getting a little credit. I think Arlington was also four and a half point dogs at Houston. So shows you that the sports books view the week three version of Heinz Ward's Brahmas the same way they might view the week two version of the Renegades. So promising, but I just, I don't want to overreact to this. I think that a win against Orlando should not hold any weight at this point.